For years, people have been asking, when will Professor Sad come back? It's like Gotham begging for Batman to come home and save them. Professor Sad, if you've been around the channel for a long time, will be a name you instantly recognize. From the Dark Souls adventures, as well as his role in the WWE WrestleManias where he fought the legendary Brendan Fraser and Brendan Fraser's clones, as well as Santa Claus Brendan Fraser, Professor Sad has had a long career as a hero to many. A role model for some, in fact. But a few years ago... He vanished, because there wasn't many fucking games with a deep character creator where I could remake Professor Sad. It's not that deep, it's not like I took him out behind the barn and put him down or something. It just wasn't a whole ton of games for Professor Sad to flourish, and I didn't want to waste his talents in a shit-ass game. So, Professor Sad's been binged, he's been on the sidelines for a little while, but I'm happy to say, the big boy is back. Professor Sad returns in all of his glory and misery in a new game called Pop-Up Dungeon. If your father left you a decade ago and recently came back into your life, you'll probably be more excited for the return of Professor Sad than your own biological fucking father. That's how important Professor Sad's return is. Now, Pop-Up Dungeon is a game where I actually voice a character. I voice the internet troll. And before anyone critiques my acting, I want to make it clear the direction was to be monotone and sound like a greaseball redditor. So obviously I fucking crushed it, and I'm expecting an Oscar nomination for my performance. Roll up your tat sleeves, boys. Do you think my KD ratio cares about AIDS? Ooh. Hey man, your mom says it's bedtime. So here's our fairy tale hero, teaming up with the internet troll. He's a sadness sorcerer, as you would expect. For those of you unfamiliar with Professor Sad's lore, he's the world's most depressed professor. Heaven didn't want him, hell won't take him, and now he's forced to wander the earth with tears constantly flowing from his eyes as he feels obligated to save us. We don't know why he feels this obligation, but we do know one thing for sure. He's not happy about it. Do you think my KD ratio cares about age? Oh, just listen to that crisp delivery. You can hear the Dorito dust pouring out of my mouth as I deliver the line. Oh, fantastic. Really giving Troy Baker a run for his money. Ah, I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> Depression alchemy is one of the strongest forms of magic, the law of equivalent misery. Professor Sad is able to strike fear and hopelessness into the opposition. From the shadows. I'm in. In classic fashion, Professor Sad has to retreat after getting his ass fucking slapped around here, and it's not good enough because he just gets hunted down and just annihilated here, unfortunately, but I mean. That's Professor Sad's whole existence in a nutshell. He'll do it, doesn't pick up. Lame on. Yeah, anyway, I just got really excited to play as Professor Sad again, especially in something like this. I voiced the internet troll, and the Professor Sad edition was a nice little surprise from the developer. Just something really cute that I appreciated, so I wanted to talk about it. He's not- Professor Sad's just a little custom character. He's not like the protagonist or like a leading role in the game or something. It's not like Pro Professor Sad is leading the charge against Sauron or some shit like that in Middle Earth. He's just there as a fun little custom character with some misery-based options, I suppose. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly talk about this just because I thought it was really fucking cool. But who knows what the future holds for Professor Sad other than agony. Maybe in the future, DC Comics will want to use Professor Sad as like an anti-hero or some kind of shit like that. Uh, the, the potential of the character is truly limitless, like there's so many things he could be sad about, his origin story could be more mysterious than the Joker is all I'm saying. But anyway, that's about it, I just thought this whole fucking thing was cool and wanted to talk about it. That's it. See ya.